Hi everyone, welcome to your career day. My name is Madeline Schrock and my job is magazine editor. I work for a collection of magazines that are about dancing. We have several magazines at our company, including Dance Magazine. And this is a magazine for people who love to dance, students, professional dancers, teachers, people who just are interested about dance. And we write and edit stories about all types of dance, ballet, hip hop, Broadway, tap dancing, modern dance, pretty much anything dance we cover. So my job at the magazine is senior managing editor. And as a managing editor, um, we like to think of all the different pieces of a magazine are puzzle pieces. And each month we have several different puzzle pieces that we need to assemble to make into the issue. So I help our team of editors and writers make sure that we have stories for all of those pieces, stories about what's going on in the world of dance with news, um, stories about how dancers are training to be strong and healthy, um, stories about um, profiles of professional dancers talking about their lives and how they got to where they are today. So we have lots of different types of stories, about 25 stories in each print issue. And I make sure that our editors have everything assigned and written and edited so that it's polished and ready to go to get to our subscribers' mailboxes on time. Um, we also have websites uh, where we have new dance stories almost every day of the week. So I also work on pointmagazine.com, which is dedicated to ballet dancing. And all of the uh, years of training and hard work it takes to become a ballet dancer. Uh, for that website, I'm the managing editor, so I help those puzzle pieces come together for our website. And I also write different types of stories. Um, a really neat part about that job is I get to speak with professional ballet dancers about their lives. I write a column called The Workout, where I ask them about their favorite foods that help um, fuel them to be healthy and strong as a dancer on stage, and also what kind of cross training they do to stay strong. Um, cross training for a ballet dancer might be doing yoga exercises or Pilates or working out at a gym. And I talk to dancers about what they do to feel good to perform. And we share that with our readers, um, a lot of whom are high school or college age dancers who would like to be in a ballet company someday. I'd say that talking with dancers is one of my favorite parts of my job. Another part I really like is getting to go see dance shows, whether that's a ballet company or a modern dance company or Broadway shows in New York City. Um, how I got my position, I was a dancer growing up from age five. I studied ballet, tap, and jazz, and I went on to study modern and choreography in college. I graduated with a dance degree from an honors college in Ohio. And also at my school, I took a lot of writing classes. So with my dance degree and writing experience, that helped me uh, get a job at the magazine. As far as for the type of education you need to be a managing editor or a journalist at a magazine, a lot of people have an English degree or a journalism degree, some kind of background in writing from a four-year college, and a lot of experience with dance. That could be taking dance classes, uh, to being so involved as to having a dance degree 
or being a professional dancer. Some of the editors I work with were professional dancers on stage for years, and then they retired and are bringing that expertise to our magazine. Uh, one piece of advice for people who are interested in a career in the arts or journalism with magazines, I would say to um, really have an eye for how you see art and dance in the world. Dance is everywhere. People love to dance when they're together with friends or on a stage or at a show. It doesn't always have to be so formal. Um, and if that's something you like and enjoy, know that there can be a career from it. And one good thing about being a dancer, um, even if you don't become a professional dancer, if you like to take dance classes, you learn a lot of skills in those classes that can help you in a lot of other professional fields. You learn discipline, how to work hard, how to be creative, how to be a problem solver. And those are some of the top skills I use as my job at the magazine. I hope you're all enjoying your career day. And before I go, I wanted to show you a little bit about what we make. These are two of our recent issues. This has a ballet dancer on the cover, and this is a modern dancer. And here's another recent one. And I'll just give a little flip through. So lots of stories. This story is about exercises dancers might do to get stronger. This story is about dance history. And this is a news story about what's going on in the world of dance. So we cover dance in lots of different ways.